Hello everyone, I am Arbit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add form submissions to separate groups in your Google contacts. Now, suppose you have three products A, B and C and people are inquiring about those products A, B and C. Now, you want to filter out the people who are inquiring for A product and the people who are inquiring from B product from the people who are inquiring for C product. So what you are going to do, you are going to add them in a separate Google contacts list according to the specific products A, B and C. So what are we going to do here? First, we are going to have submissions in our Google forms. After that, what we are going to do, we are going to create Google contacts according to the submission in those forms. Now to do this, we are going to use an integration and automation service Pabli Connect which will help us connect Google Forms and Google Contacts together. Now if you want to learn how to do this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And now <coughs> we are at our screen, so what we have to do, we just have to go here and type in P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com slash connect. And as soon as we do that, you can see that I have been redirected to this beautiful page and beautiful website, Pabli Connect. And now what we have to do is, first, if you are not yet a member of this beautiful family, you have to go here and sign up. Now, signing up for your account is absolutely free. And we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. Now I already have an account here, so I will just go for sign in. <clears throat> now I'll go for access now. And after that, I'm going to create a new workflow for you all. And to do that, I have to click here on create workflow. Now what we are doing, we are separating Google contacts on the basis of a choice made by the customers. And then those contacts will be saved to our Google contacts separately whenever they submit a new form in our Google forms. So Google forms to Google contacts. Okay. So create it <clears throat> and now what we have to do is first we have to okay before doing that let me explain you one more thing there are two windows here first one is trigger second one is action so a trigger window is a window where the first event or the initial event of any process will happen which means when this is happening then the action part will be taken and action part or action window is the step where the final event is happening or the final task is happening what we want to have in our final workflow. So when this happens, do this, which means when a Google form submission will happen, it will add context to Google contacts. So I'll just go and click on Google forms. Trigger event is obviously new, new response received. Now, how you are going to collect the data from Google Forms to Pabli Connect. So to connect your Google Forms and Pabli Connect together, you have to click on this workflow and copy this webhook URL. I'm really sorry, not to click on this workflow, click on this webhook URL and copy this. Now you can see here, I have already made one, uh, you know, form for you all, where we are going to put uh, you know, where we are going to put the details of the customer. Now what I'm going to do, when I will put the details of the customer here, an automatic response will be taken to Pabli Connect. But for that, we have to copy this webhook URL and we do not have any option to copy this webhook URL right here. So what are you going to do? So what we will do is, we will just go here on responses and we will click on this plus icon or plus looking icon, which is of Google Sheets. And now you have to integrate your Google Sheets to your Pabli Connect account. So this is
फेवरेट पैबली प्रोडक्ट ओके सो फेवरेट पैबली प्रोडक्ट नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज दिस इज आर यू नो दिस इज आर गूगल शीट नाउ व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ रेस्पॉन्स हेयर ओके सो आई जस्ट गो हेयर और लेट मी फर्स्ट कनेक्ट इट फर्स्ट लेट मी कनेक्ट इट सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू गो टू एक्सटेंशन आफ्टर गोइंग टू एक्सटेंशन यू हैव टू गो टू एड ऑन्स इफ यू डो नॉट हैव पैबली कनेक्ट वेब हुक्स विद यू इफ यू हैव इट देन इट्स ओके इफ यू डो नॉट हैव इट गो टू एड ऑन्स गेट एड ऑन्स एंड सर्च फॉर पैबली कनेक्ट वेब हुक्स so you can see as soon as you will type pably connect web hooks you will see this on your screen and this extension can be downloaded i already have it installed in my system so i am not doing that again i'll just cut it i'll go to extensions and i'll i will go to extensions and then i'll click on initial setup now this initial setup is asking me for the web hook url here so what i am going to do is I am going to copy this webhook URL and I will paste it here. Okay, and now it is asking me for the trigger column. So the trigger column is always the last column of your spreadsheet data, or I should say the last data column of your spreadsheet. So here, let me cut this. Here, the last column is E. So I am going to use E there. Okay. trigger column will be e now i am just going to submit because i do not have a data right here for now so i will just go to you know my google forms and have a data here first so i'll just go for submit i'll go to my google forms and now i'll type in oh i am really sorry for that now i will type in arpit sharma that's my name email arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com phone number you can put in any phone number i am putting this one 9770707265 and now what is his fabli uh, what is what is his favorite pably product so my favorite pably product is pably connect obviously because i work on it day and night so i'll just go and click on submit now as soon as i will submit it you can see i have a response here in my google sheet now what i am going to do i am going to take this response here and i will just go and recapture web hook response so whenever i do that you can see i have a web hook response here arpit sharma arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com this is my number this is my Uh, you know favorite pably product favorite uh, pably product response spreadsheet uh, spreadsheet name and i have the trigger column and the row index okay now we do not want all these things we only want the number gmail and phone number okay now the next part is we have to connect this google form to our google contacts in such a way that when that when <coughs> a new form is submitted for a pably product or a particular pably product the contact for that specific pably product will be saved to a specific location and a specific group in google contacts now this is my google contacts and i have these groups here pably connect i do not have anything here pably email marketing i do not have anything here and pably subscription i do not have anything here as well now what i am going to do <coughs> i want every i want for every separate product a separate contact will be created in that particular group so what will happen when i will submit the google forms if somebody would click on pably product in forms 
all those contacts or all the details of that customer who has chosen Pebbly product or Pebbly Connect basically, Pebbly Connect will go to the Pebbly Connect group. Whenever someone will choose the Pebbly subscription billing, the contact will be saved into the Pebbly subscription billing group. And whenever someone will choose the Pebbly email marketing, it will go to the Pebbly email marketing. Okay. Now what we are going to do for that, we are going to use router. Now router is a feature by Pebbly Connect where you can set different different streams for different different tasks. So whenever you will create routers, you will have specific information for every router and that router will only get activated when the condition is met. Okay. Now what we are going to do, this is our root one. I will just rename it for Pebbly Connect. Okay. Now let me show you. We have, we have this here, your favorite Pebbly product, Pebbly Connect. Okay. Now set filter and actions. Now what you have to do is now you have to create the filter. Now how you will set up the filter? We will go here. And I will choose your favorite Pebbly product is whatever the favorite Pebbly product is. Now if it is equal to Pebbly connect. Okay. This is my form Pebbly Pebbly connect. Okay. So I'll just go here, save and send test request. It will say the condition is true because we just used a Pebbly connect uh, Google form right here. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to add another step here for Google contacts. We will go here. Google contacts. And now <clears throat> whenever a new person will come here, we will create a contact. So whenever a new person will submit the form, a contact will be created. Now it is asking me either I want to use the existing connection or I want to add a new connection. So I'll just go for add a new connection so that I can teach you how to do that. So uh, we will, you know, go here and I am doing it for this account Ashirai. So I will just contact and connect with Ashirai. So you can see Ashirai account has been connected here. Now what we are going to do here, it is asking me for the first name and last name. So I do not have a first name, last name. I only have one name. So I'm just keeping it Arpit Sharma here. If you have a last name here, you can map the last name. And now, okay, one more thing here. I am using the technique, which is called mapping. Mapping will let me take the data from this window here and will let me map the data in these fields here. I do not have to, uh, you know, manually copy and paste anything or I do not have to manually type anything. So what I'm going to do here is gender is male, email work. So email is arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com. I do not want that phone number. Phone number is phone number is this. Okay. So this is my phone number. I have the email, I have the name and I have the phone number. So I do not want anything else. I'll just go here and I'll save and send test request. So you can see a contact has been created here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here as well. And now I want this contact to be in a specific folder or a specific group in Google contacts. So I'll just choose one more time Google contacts. And now I will go for add contact to group or label. So as soon as I will do that, I'm not going to connect my Google contacts again. I have done it a few moments ago. Now it is asking me for the group to which group we want to add this contact to. So what we are going to do. You can see this is my value. I mean, this is my group. Pebbly connect. So we are going to contact Pebbly. Uh, we are going to select uh, Pebbly connect here. 
सो हेयर दिस इज पैबली कनेक्ट ओके नाउ कॉन्टैक्ट आइदर यू नो यू कैन टाइप मैनुअल कॉन्टैक्ट बट दैट वुड नॉट यू नो सेटिस्फाई योर कंडीशन बिकॉज वेन एवर अ न्यू कॉन्टैक्ट विल बी रिसीव्ड यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली यू नो मैनुअली टाइप इट अगेन एंड अगेन फॉर ऑटोमेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू मैप दैट अगेन एंड हाउ टू मैप इट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द अकाउंट आई डी फ्रॉम हेयर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द रिसोर्स नेम रिसोर्स नेम इज दिस एंड वी हैव टू मैप द रिसोर्स नेम सो आई विल गो हेयर I will click on map. I'll just delete this, and you can map the resource name from this part. People slash c seven seven eight eight whatever it is, and save and send test request. <clears throat> Now, as soon as you will uh, do that, you can see a blank response has been received, which means the condition is successful and the integration has been done. Now we will go to Google Contacts. and then we will go to pabli connect and we will refresh it and as soon as we will refresh it you can see we have a new contact here arpit sharma and this is pabli email marketing is, is still uh, empty pabli subscription billing is still empty now we have successfully created a router for pabli connect now we are doing the same thing we are going to do the same thing for pabli email marketing and pabli subscription billing so i'll go back here i'll save this and done okay now i am going to clone this clone clone i am going to clone this again clone clone okay i will delete this now why am i cloning this <clears throat> i am cloning this because all my conditions will be same except my filter part so i just have to change my filter part and everything else will stay same and i will just save it and it will save me a lot of time and effort so i'll just go here and i will rename it pabli subscription update and i will rename this to pabli marketing okay Pabli email marketing. Okay. So this is how it's done. Now we have to create the filter. So first, I have shown you in first step. that if you want the contact to be added to pabli connect you will be doing or you will be setting up filter like this where the your favorite pabli product label will be equal to pabli connect now we are doing it for the pabli subscription so we are going to put pabli subscription billing so we are going to put pabli subscription billing okay so <clears throat> you can see here your favorite pabli product if it will be equal to pabli subscription billing only then this condition will be met and the contact will be saved to pabli subscription now you can see it is show showing error condition is false so do not worry about that it it is showing error because we have used pabli connect here okay pabli connect label here but we want the label pabli subscription billing so that the contact will move to pabli subscription group now this is true this is also true now this is what i was telling you about the cloning i do not have to clone this again i have already done that i'll save this and i'll save this again and done okay so this is pabli connect this is pabli email marketing this is pabli subscription we will now set up set it up for pabli email marketing we will go here oh, i am really sorry we will go here 
and same with these fields we don't we will not change anything except our filter where here it will be equal to pebbly email marketing so it's pebbly email marketing and be very specific about your spellings because if you will do spelling mistakes you know the process can uh, uh, terminate and it will not give you the uh, uh, what should i say the response okay so pebbly email marketing it is now save this save and send test and as you can see it is again the condition is false but you do not have to worry about that because what we are doing is correct now check this data save this data because we have been using cloning check this data too and save this data too now all our routers has been set now it's time for some action so i have already shown you pebbly connect contact now i'll show you for second part oh my god i am really sorry for that so your name let me give a new name rajan avasthi email rajan avasthi at the rate gmail.com phone number i'll take this phone number for example and now i am doing it for pebbly subscription billing and as soon as i will submit it you can see in my google contacts a new contact will be added in pebbly subscription billing let me refresh it okay i am really sorry i forgot to do one thing here i did not select the google contacts group so for pebbly subscription we have to select here pebbly subscription save and pebbly okay so this is pebbly subscription billing and it was a mistake from my side i am really sorry for that but now you can see it's done let me save this okay and it must have been saved to pebbly subscription billing but we did not get the response let's do it again and we have to set the third router also rajan avasthi email rajan avasthi rajan avasthi at the rate gmail.com phone number let me use this one again pebbly subscription billing submit now let's see pebbly subscription billing refresh and as soon as you will refresh you can see there is a new contact rajan avasthi and now we are going to do this for our third router also let me go here again connect it again i have already connected my google contacts here and now it is for pebbly email marketing so just go for pebbly email marketing click on mapping delete this and insert our resource name now save this okay done now <clears throat> we are going to go here again and now i will be doing it for pebbly email marketing so my name is shirley matthews email shirley matthews@gmail.com 
फोन नंबर लेट मी टेक दिस वन एंड नाउ आई एम डूइंग इट फॉर द पैबली ईमेल मार्केटिंग आई क्लिक ऑन पैबली ईमेल मार्केटिंग सबमिट एंड आई गो बैक हेयर and now you can see i do not have any contact here and as soon as i will refresh it you can see i have a new contact here by the name shirley matthews shirley matthews at the rate gmail.com so friends <clears throat> this is how you can set up a router where a google form submission will be saved to different contact groups according to the conditions set in router so if you want to do that kind of google form submission or you want to have that kind of google form submission from your customers you can use this automation and it will be very helpful if you are from a gaming industry or a software industry or something like that so i hope you love this workflow and if you understood this you can just you know copy it and clone it from my description box but for that you have to have an uh, account here and for that you have to make an account and for that you have to go and sign up so sign up because signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month from our side so what are you waiting for go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you